Hey everybody, we are so excited that you are considering a trip to the Gorge. This area is packed to the brim with beautiful scenery and amazing outdoor recreation opportunities. Today, we're actually gonna go through the trip guide for the Gorge, which includes information about the Gorge itself, nearby stops, where to stay, and our car camping packing list. Before we hop into the guide itself, we wanted to preface that we are referring to this area as the Gorge, which is kind of a collective name that includes all sorts of different areas. So there is the Red River Gorge Geological Area, there's the Clifty Wilderness Area, and there's also the Natural Bridge State Resort Park. Collectively, we're calling these the Gorge. And it is important to note that these are very popular areas. So if you are planning your trip, be prepared that parking lots can fill quickly. So we recommend getting an early start to the day and maybe picking some non-prime times to visit the area when maybe the rest of the country isn't so busy focused on visiting that area. The first part of the trip guide is the actual map that we created for the area. Now, I do want to say that this map is actually designed to help you plan your trip and you shouldn't navigate from the map. When you are planning your trip, you need to either download one of these big maps or when you get to the area, you need to stop in at one of the welcome centers or the Gladi Center and make sure that you pick up this map because it is super helpful. But it is pretty big to print out. It would be hard to actually get it to the right scale and size that it's actually usable. When you're hiking, I would recommend using an app such as the All Trails app to help you navigate on the trails itself. But for the purposes of the guide, this map in the trip guide is going to help you kind of distinguish where to go for different hiking and recreation opportunities. So let's hop into that map. For the map, we group things into three different colors. So there's an orange grouping, a blue teal grouping, and a gray grouping. Each of these are hikes or attractions that are in close proximity and should likely be explored together to be the most efficient with your time. For the gray grouping, this is kind of centered around the Natural Bridge State Resort Park. And for that, we actually pulled out a, another map of that area because there's so many interesting things in such close proximity. When you first look at the actual map, it can be very overwhelming. And so for our trip guide, what we did is we ruled out any of the long trails. So our kids are not quite ready to do anything that's three miles or more. And so we erased those um, routes off of the map. And that actually helped kind of eliminate some of the confusion and it helps you to kind of hone in on the trails that your group is most likely to do. So most of, or all of the trails are actually three miles or less, and most of them are about one mile or less. Another thing we did is a lot of the trails can be loops, but we actually figured on if you don't do a loop and you go straight to an arch and back, how long that will take. So sometimes the loop might be three miles, but ours just says 1.1 mile because that's how long it takes to get there and back. So we're trying to be as friendly to the little legs um, of your kids in the different hike recommendations. Let's start with the 715 loop. These are all the trailheads that can be accessed off of Highway 715. The first two that I recommend you hit are Chimney Top Rock and Princess Arch. Both of these can be accessed from the same parking lot and they're short and sweet hikes, but they definitely pack a punch in terms of their view. Another one to note in this area is the Nada Tunnel. Now this is just a driving tunnel, but it is really neat and I highly recommend you do this. This is kind of a gateway into the gorge itself and it is a gorgeous drive. Another one that I wanted to bring attention to is the Suspension Bridge Trail. The, when we were there in the spring of 2024, the suspension bridge was actually under construction and therefore the trail was pretty rough to get there. So I would stop in at one of the local centers, welcome centers there and check in and see if the suspension bridge is repaired because I'm sure when it's repaired, the trail will be under better conditions and it would be a neat and short, sweet hike to go to with your kids. The last one I wanted to mention from this group is Indian Staircase, which is known as one of the best hikes in the entire gorge area, but it can be very dangerous. So please keep that in mind. And I wouldn't recommend taking your young children on this hike because of how dangerous it can be. 
but it is beautiful. So if you have older kids or you're more experienced, this would be an awesome one to definitely pick. Moving on to Tunnel Ridge Road and the Coomer Ridge area. These are four trails that are best accessed together. The D Boone Hut Trail and Gray's Arch both share the same picnic area and parking lot, as well as Hidden Arch and Silver Mine Arch share a similar parking lot as well. So all four of those trails are best accessed together. Keep in mind that Gray's Arch is the largest arch in the gorge. Natural Bridge State Resort Park is filled with amazing outdoor recreation opportunities. The highlight is definitely the Natural Bridge. If you're looking at walking to it, then we recommend using the original trail. However, there is another opportunity. If you would like to ride the sky lift and save a few steps, then that takes you all the way to the top of the cliff where it's just a short hike across the Natural Bridge and then down and underneath it. We opted to ride the Skylift and we thoroughly enjoyed it. While you're in the area, there's lots of different attractions, but be sure to check out Whittleton's Arch and Henson's Cave Arch. Did we plan an entire trip around kayaking in a cave? You betcha. The Gorge Underground was the inspiration for this trip and it did not disappoint. Included in the trip guide is more information about what to plan for, what to expect, what to pack and what to wear. Moving on to nearby stops. One of the nearby stops is Mammoth Cave, which seems kind of funny to include as a nearby stop because it's definitely a trip that can stand on its own two feet. However, when we were visiting the gorge, it was one of the stops that we included. So we wanted to include that in our trip guide as well. We went on the historic cave tour and thoroughly enjoyed our time. Our guide was amazing and we absolutely loved our trip. Included in the trip guide is more information about what to expect and pack slash wear on that adventure. Also included as a nearby stop is the Abraham Lincoln Birthplace National Historic Park. This is actually two different locations. So it is where he is born at the Sinking Spring Farm, where there is a monument and a nature center. And then there's also Knob Creek, which was his boyhood home. We stopped at both of the locations and really enjoyed the history and some of the interpretive information there. It is important to know that if you're coming from Red River Gorge area to the birthplace and going on to Mammoth Cave, between this birthplace and Mammoth Cave is the time change. So if you're trying to get to Mammoth Cave to hit a cave tour, be sure to include that in your planning so that you don't miss that tour. Also included in the trip guide is a page dedicated for where to stay. Although we don't make one specific recommendation, we have all sorts of links that take you to maybe what you might be most interested in. There's such a spectrum of what people need when planning where to stay that we didn't want to make any specific recommendation, but we wanted to give you the resources so you can best plan where to stay. Also in the trip guide is our car camping packing list which will help you plan and pack for your adventure if you're planning on camping in the area. From kayaking in a cave, to riding a sky lift up a cliff, hiking over and under arches, and taking in the beautiful scenery, you are absolutely gonna love the Red River Gorge. This was one of our family's favorite trips and we can't wait to see how you make this a trip of your own. We hope that this trip guide creates an outdoor adventure made easy. Looking for more adventures in the Midwest? Be sure to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.